Hello guys, it's Striker. Welcome back to another video, man. So today we're going to be talking about some Kangakov Champions League. Um, it's pretty much, if you guys never heard of the Kangakov Champions League, it's pretty much um, the Champions League of the North America, Central American Caribbean um, Highlands. And it consists of MLS team from uh, Major League Soccer, uh, Liga MX, that's the that's top division in uh, Mexico, and uh, team from like Costa Rica, Honduras, uh, the Caribbean, like Dominica, Jamaica, Trinidad, and those places, and a few other countries, man. So we're going to check this out. So right now it's the round of 16, so it consists of uh, 16 teams uh, from uh, from multiple countries and uh, leagues. And uh, it's going to be taking place uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, the ninth, tomorrow, what, the 19th, uh, Wednesday, the 20th, and um, Thursday, the Thursday is the... The twenty first, man. So those are days going to take place. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, Deportivo Saprissa versus Tigres, man. So Deportivo Saprissa is one of the big team down there in Costa Rica. Costa Rica is one of the big um, football nation in, in North America. Uh, Saprissa is one of the top team down there. They, they're responsible for a lot of the top players out of Costa Rica. They're going to be take. They're going to be taking on Mexican Giants at home. Uh, Tigres and uh, my money is on Tigres. I, I believe Tigres gonna win this one uh, fairly easy. I think out of Liga MX and uh, MLS, those are the top division, and I, I don't think other teams, other division, really gonna compete with those teams from Liga MX and MLS. Man, so three zero win for Tigres on the road in uh, Costa Rica. Uh, we got Independiente de la Torreira man uh, versus Toronto FC. I'm not sure where that team is from. I want to say they're from uh, Dominican Republic, but uh, they could be from somewhere else. Um, Independiente de la uh, Carrera. Carrera. Let me know where they're from. They're going to be playing Toronto FC, one of the best teams in MLS. Uh, Toronto FC lost uh, Sebastian Giovinco. He has left to go to, um, I want to say UAE, uh, United Emirates, or uh, Saudi Arabia, one of those places. He went to, he, he scored on his debut, man, scored a ridiculous goal on his debut over there in the Middle East. Um, so, um, Toronto doesn't really have him anymore. And I still think Toronto is going to win this game 2-0 or 2-1 win for Toronto on the road. Uh, next game we have is uh, Gosta, uh, Gosta Yot, Gastoya versus Houston Dynamo. I want to say that team is from um, Guatemala. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe they're from Guatemala. Uh, they're going to play Houston Dynamo. Houston Dynamo do have a very good team. They're one of the best. Um, one of the one of the. I want to say they, they're an average team. I don't think they're one of the best team in MLS in general, but they probably one of the like mid table team over there in the in the, in the Western Division. Um, but my money's on um, Houston Dynamo winning this game two zero or three one. Uh, next game we have is CD Marathons. I'm not sure where they're from. Let me know where they're from. They're going to play Santos. Um, from Liga MX, I, I believe it's not an easy win for Santos. I, I believe Santos going to win this big, probably like 5 0 or 4 0, depends on, on the team that they feel versus them on the road. Uh, they I got uh, CA Patoja, uh, CA Patoja versus New York Red Bulls. I'm not sure where CA Patoja from, and let me know where they're from. Uh, New York Red Bulls, uh, team from MLS, I think it's going to be an easy victory. 3 0 win or 2 1 or 2 0 win for them on the road. Uh, we got Alianza, Alianza, Alianza FA versus um, Monterey, man. I, I'm not, Alianza, I want to say they're from Honduras. I want to say they're from Honduras or El Salvador or, yeah, one of those countries, man. Alianza is one of the powerhouses down there, I believe, Honduras or El Salvador. They're going to be playing the powerhouse of Mexico, Monterey, Rayados, man. Rayados has been the best team in Liga MX uh, 2000 and. Um, 19 Kosora so far beating pretty much anybody they, they faces man. I believe they're still undefeated right now and my money is on them winning at least 4-0 or 5-0 I think they're going to be winning by a lot versus Alianza man so let me know where Alianza from I believe they're from Honduras or El Salvador and uh, Monterey going to win easily uh, next game we have is sports, uh, Sporting Kansas City versus Toluca. Um, two good teams playing each other, man. One team from M uh, MLS and League MX team playing. Uh, usually they, they they don't have these two team two um league playing against each other during these uh during the round of sixteen, man. But right now they do, and it's gonna be a crazy clash. 
Uh, my money is on Sporting Kansas City, though. My money is on Sporting Kansas City. I think they have a very good team all around. Uh, coached by Peter Verms. Peter Verms has been a phenomenal coach for um, Sporting Kansas City men. So Sporting Kansas City, um, they're not pretty much. They're not like the most famous team in MLS or the most popular team in MLS, but they've been one of the most consistent, one of the best team in MLS for a while. And I think they should have done better last year, especially in the Western Conference. Uh, Portland Timbers beat them in the playoffs. I think they should have um, went all the way to the final in the playoff last year. But that didn't happen. And um, Sporting Kansas City going to play Toluca. Toluca um, was all right, was very good in the, in 2018, man. But I don't think they're going to um, do well versus Sporting Kansas City. The first game going to be in at Mercy's Children's um, Park. That's the name of uh, Sporting Kansas City uh, Stadium. And I believe Sporting Kansas City is going to win the first game. I know MLS team might struggle right now because they're pretty much in preseason mode while um, League MX team like Toluca are been playing regular season game. And so it's going to be a difficult challenge for Sporting Kansas City. I think they have enough to answer that challenge and then winning at least 1-0 uh, or 2-1. Uh, next game we have is Club Sports, uh, Eridiana. Another team that I, I'm not sure where they are. Eridiana, I want to say they're from Costa Rica. I, I go with Costa Rica or El Salvador or Honduras, man. Like, I used to know where they're from, but I forgot. Uh, they're going to be playing Atlanta United, man. And this is Atlanta United, man. One of the best teams in North America, in my personal opinion. I think Atlanta could go all the way and win and win it, in my opinion. I think Atlanta could go all the way and win the Kangaroo Cup 2018. Uh, eight uh, 19 season man. Uh, Atlanta United man. Uh, they got rid of uh Almiron. They sold Almiron for like to 20 million uh pounds to uh Newcastle in the Premier League, and uh, he has been a vital player, being one of their key players over the past two years um of the club existence. And uh, they got Pitti Martinez, who was phenomenal for <coughs> sorry, who was phenomenal for River Plate in the final versus uh versus Boca Junior in the Copa Libertadores towards final man. So. Uh, Peter Martin is going to do a very good job, and uh, Atlanta United going to destroy them, 6-0 or 5-0, uh, final result, man. But uh, that's my preview, my, that's my prediction for the Kangakov, um, uh, Kangakov Champions League, man. Let me know if you guys are going to be watching it, if you guys want me to uh, keep up with it, do reaction videos for this game and previews for um, these um, games, man. Let me know, but uh, would love to hear from you guys, man. Like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. With that, you boys out of here. Peace.